For me, art is about uh, emotions. This is what Zingari will do for you. It's something extraordinary, the beauty of this piece, the, the amazing voices. I think you'll be very surprised at how beautiful the music is, how good the story is. This is an opera that does not have a second of filler in it. It just keeps on going and the intensity and the passion keeps on getting ratcheted up. Zingari occupies its place at the heart of Operara's DNA because we're doing something here that no one else has ever done, which is this restoration of the original 1912 version premiered in London that Leon Cavalla was so proud of and which we're now bringing back for 21st century audiences to enjoy. The genesis of Zingari is incredibly interesting. So we might have expected that an opera like Zingari would have been done at the Royal Opera House or perhaps the Colosseum, but actually it was premiered at the London Hippodrome, which had opened in 1900, and by 1912, it was marketing itself as the Royal Opera House of Variety Theatre. And so Len Cavallo had come to the Hippodrome in 1911. He had conducted Pagliacci in an abridged version of only 30 minutes, twice a day. It had been an absolutely enormous success, and he was then approached by the management of the Hippodrome to write a new opera, especially for them, that would need to be quite similar in style to Pagliacci and not more than an hour in length. And Len Cavallo was open to this opportunity. He was someone who was really interested in taking advantage of what might come his way. He wasn't snobbish about venues, and he was interested in exploring what this could do for him artistically. One act operas are difficult, and in a piece like Zingari, which is terrifically intense, it's incredibly energetic, and it makes huge demands of the orchestra and the singers. And actually, I think probably part of the reason that Len Cavallo made some of the changes after the world premiere was that actually, in some ways, it was very challenging for the singers, and he made some pragmatic compromises to lower a few vocal lines and to make something shorter. <laughs> Carlo Rizzi has been quite marvellous. I've been so impressed with his knowledge of the score, but it's also the ability to communicate that knowledge in a way that really inspires and motivates our artistic forces. Maestro Rizzi is a phenomenal musician. This is a fact. He believes in you and he makes you really step up your game at the same time. Uh, it's not often today to have maestro like this. It's really very, very nice to work together. Undoubtedly, one of the challenges of Zingari is that the four principal roles are all very difficult. So we need singers who have throats of, of steel in a way. They've got to have real power, but actually they also need a lot of flexibility. We can see that, for example, in Fliana's writing. It's very melismatic, there's a lot of ornamentation. And so it's not enough to just have that kind of vocal strength. You also need that kind of flexibility that shows the real musicality of, of the gypsy community in Lenkavala's portrayal. Krasimira Stoyanova is really luxury casting for Opera Rara. She brings this incredibly vibrant, exciting quality. It's very nimble, it's very light, it's very alive, it's very engaging. The way that she floats uh, some notes uh, is like a little dance. If I sing uh, uh, an opera, this means to make a theater. I have to use my body to show the character, but only with my voice.
the tenor, Arsene, is incredibly important. He carries the emotional weight of the piece. It's very interesting to change the voice, the accent, the pronunciation, the legato, the phrasing, according to these different moments. I enjoy uh, records because this is a very beautiful moment when all musicians, orchestra, conductor, partners do it one job. Stephen first sang with us in 2015, and I was so impressed with the consistency of his performance. I think he really did a wonderful job, because it's very hard for his kind of voice to do this, uh, this part. The tessitura sits rather high in the, uh, in the range a lot of the time, and it's very impassioned music, so it does require a nice, big, um, almost dramatic sound. I'm so pleased to have Lukasz Galinski as part of this cast. He's the moral compass of the whole Zingari Gypsy community and so his utterances need to carry real weight and authority. For every role you have to like step into the world the, the opera is all about and uh, try to feel like the character you're singing. There are so many undiscovered masterpieces out there which have already stood the test of time and for whatever reason, but not because of their quality, have fallen out of the repertoire. And we see it as our role to bring them back to the public attention. And so in this case, uh, particularly, I really think that is a very, very, very good opera. This project from Opera Rara it is like a light in the tunnel. <laughs> it's so fantastic. I like it. <laughs> <laughs>